During the pandemic, I think there are two things that people appreciate more. One is community and the other one is open spaces. And we have both. So that has been very important to support the mental health of our members. We've been growing herbs and vegetables in the garden, which we've been using for our Asian elders, so very particular cultural herbs. I cook for Asian elderly people, like a mint rice or a biryani. I add all the flavours from this garden. I pick up a lot. They love it. They are asking more and more. When COVID lockdown in March started, I was furloughed. And what a better time to come and clear a green space that's been treated as a fly tipping space. It's a really good way to engage the community to do the same for them to come along and see the space has been cleared and that they can grow the food that they want to and harvest the food for everyone to enjoy. And now from one person that started myself in March last year is a whole community and neighbours and family and friends coming together to grow their own food. This space here, people used to dump the rubbish. It was really awful. I was scared to come through here. But since Joanna started working it, and the boys and them cutting, I'm free to walk now. And a lot of people is using it and saying the same as me. Since the pandemic, we introduced the food bank and we cook with the vegetables that we grow. With the Community Harvest Initiative, we have had such an inspirational experience. They have motivated us to carry on on the good path. Being part of Capital Grower has helped us develop broader networks across London. So we really benefited from the support of the staff as well as being able to purchase additional seeds so that we could grow more, that we could share with the local community. All our food stay on site and is distributed to our local beneficiaries. They receive every week a bag of vegetables. They have been motivated to cook more. Whenever we can go back together, we are going to be doing international cooking classes. We would love to do a cooking book that introduces all these recipes from different people and, and from different nationalities. We're hoping that the garden becomes an open learning space for children because I think it's really important that they understand the journey of food and also how to take care of the environment. With this growing, it gives so much satisfaction. In my case, it's like a expecting a father. It's, it's starting from nothing, just a little seed. And then when it grew up, it was just well, well, just over six foot. So because some that little seed, I make something big, I just done something and, and I felt very positive about it. The produce we have here, we give those to people that's local in need and some of them are homeless and some of them are shielding for other people and some of them are in isolation of course and elderly in need or people with ill mental health. The garden has been of benefit to families, particularly those living in overcrowded or temporary accommodation. Just having a space where they can do outdoor activities with children and for the parents, you know, just to have access to a space that they can just breathe. With the food bank, we might convert it into a food shop, a stroke workshop space where the people can come to buy for a reduction of price healthy food. In the future, I see this space as part of a bigger picture. And the bigger picture is for the whole community to know how this space started, which is a COVID-induced space. The aim of it was to engage people during COVID-isolated times and difficult times that there are something that can be good that comes out of it. It's so important that this space become known for that so that it would be a testimony of the space itself and the neighbourhood in itself that we are resilient, we are not necessarily what other people think N17 neighbourhood is or even where Hall Road or Tottenham community is. We will define ourselves and we will show it and we demonstrate it. We don't just talk, we take actions. <laughs>